By now, most of us in the technology field would have heard or read about the zero-day vulnerability exploiting the Moveit file transfer software. First posted on 31st of May by Progress, the company which owns the Moveit managed file transfer software stated that a SQL injection vulnerability has been found in the Moveit transfer web application that could allow an unauthenticated attacker to gain access to Moveit transfers database which can lead to execution of SQL statements that can alter or delete database elements. <clears throat> Is that English, mate? What's the SQL injection thing you're talking about? Um, okay, let me try to simplify this then. Consider a hypothetical scenario where you are a restaurant manager and your restaurant has a menu with various dishes that customers can order. The restaurant manager validates each order before it is passed to be processed by the kitchen. Now, if there is no restaurant manager to validate the order, the customer will have the capability to manipulate the order. They might say something like, I would like the burger please with french fries and the hey by the way, also cancel all other customer orders. Since you haven't implemented proper validation, you pass this entire order directly to the kitchen. The kitchen, unaware of the manipulation, follows the instructions as given. As a result, not only does the customer get their burger and fries, but the kitchen also inadvertently cancels all other customer orders from your system. So, why am I giving this example? This demonstrates how SQL injection vulnerability works. The customer's order represents the user input and your failure to validate that input allows malicious orders to be processed. Now, taking the same analogy and applying it to the technology world, a SQL injection is a type of security vulnerability that targets the underlying database management system and it occurs when an application running on a server or a serverless compute fails to properly validate or sanitize user input before using it in a SQL query. When an application is vulnerable to SQL injection, an attacker can exploit this vulnerability by injecting malicious SQL code into user-supplied input fields, such as login forms or search boxes. The vulnerable application then unknowingly executes the injected SQL code within its database. Now, coming back to Move It Transfer Vulnerability, you will find various articles and blog posts from numerous security vendors indicating that more than 2,500 Move It Transfer instances were exposed to the internet. According to Microsoft, Following the successful exploitation of SQL injection vulnerability, the attackers authenticated as the highest privileged user on the system and then deployed a web shell with data exfiltration capabilities. Microsoft has attributed attacks exploiting the zero-day vulnerability to Laced Tempest based on the new taxonomy. This threat actor group is known for ransomware operations such as CLOP ransomware. A UK-based payroll provider used by companies such as British Airways and the BBC has already confirmed a breach through the MoveIt vulnerability. So now the question is, what can we do as organizations? Well, apart from following the vendor's recommendations on applying latest patches, let's discuss about how organizations can approach such attacks holistically. And as such, organizations at minimum need to have a third-party vendor risk assessment process that will give confidence about the vendor's security practices and processes. In this case, a secure software development practices employed by the vendor will be at play. A good vulnerability and patch management process that will identify and patch vulnerabilities as soon as they are released by the vendors. Having an appropriate threat intelligence hook that will provide the latest indicators of compromises or IOCs and TTPs from various threat actor groups. A security threat prevention capability. For example, in this scenario, a web application firewall, if configured properly, would be able to detect web application attacks. A security threat detection capability to correlate and detect any security anomalies on the host and network level.
And last but not least, having a well-tested and rehearsed business continuity and crisis management plan to deal with disastrous cyber attacks that can lead to financial and reputational hit. Cyber attacks and breaches are inevitable. And hence, it's about time that organizations should be well prepared to deal with them. Peace.